Injection pressure monitoring has been becoming a standard practice in many regional anesthesia programs. In this video, I'll explain how it works and then we'll examine a specific injection pressure device, the nerve guard, which prevents injections over 20 psi. Here's a quick rundown of how injection pressure monitoring functions. Injecting into an interfacial space that contains the nerve should never be met with any resistance or does not require high pressure to begin the injection. This is known as the opening injection pressure. In other words, a pressure at which the injection starts. Conversely, injection against the fascia, against the nerve, inside the nerve fascicle, against periosteum or perhaps into the tendon requires much higher opening pressure. While practitioners often gauge injection resistance by feel, the pressure monitors provide an objective method to either monitor or limit this pressure, thereby minimizing the risk of erroneously injecting into the wrong tissue plane or damaging a nerve or a fascicle. Likewise, when an injection requires high pressure, the needle is often malpositioned in a wrong tissue plane, which may lead to a failed block. Now, we specifically focus on the opening injection pressure because once the injection starts, controlling the pressure is not important. We aim to prevent misplacement of the needle before the injection occurs. And if you like Nesora's educational video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our upcoming content. Now, let's see some clinical action. Okay, so we're doing the scaling break plexus block here we can see the needle approaching the interscalian plexus now we are almost close to the strong that's good don't go further that's fine pull back a little bit good so at point five we don't have motor response here okay which is very important unfortunately all of these drapes are not transparent therefore preventing us to actually see the motor responses if they occur so i have to be super careful and that's the nerve guard that we are testing out aspiration is negative and injection is possible using nerve guard at the pressures less than 20 psi otherwise if the pressure were to exceed the 20 psi the device would simply stop the passage of the local anesthetic effectively preventing an injection with a pressure over 20 psi there you go it's a nice distribution so that was the interscaling brachial plexus block using triple monitoring ultrasound for the needle nerve relationship nerve stimulation for electromonitoring where if the needle were to hit one of the elements of the brachial plexus you would get an unexpected motor response alerting you that you should stop advancing your needle further rather than injure the nerve and the nerve guard or injection pressure device that basically shuts off the flow the moment when the injection pressure exceeds 20 psi that was it and that concludes our introduction to injection pressure monitoring and a demonstration featuring the nerve guard, a device that automatically stops the flow when the pressure exceeds 20 psi. Thanks for watching. Remember to leave your comments below and subscribe to get notifications for new videos. Until next time.